Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sharyar. I hope so all of you are doing well. And um, as you know guys, uh, the upcoming class is the surgery class 3. I mean that is an emergency related class. And I hope so all of you will be doing well. And already if you see there is a book already, I mean for that preparation. I mean surgery, that trauma and emergency. You know Kaplan chapter 1 usually we use, I repeat. Kaplan chapter 1 apart from that you can use sometime master the board master the board page number uh, 503 original book page but uh, if you see the PDF it's 533 you can check it out there's the emergency section so so these are the two informations and of course Davidson and every sort of book has emergency there is never ending things for emergencies so so many things but for AMC we have to figure out what are the most important thing for us and we need to prepare accordingly all right i hope so this will help um so when you see that chapter you know i don't have the book so i might miss few things also it's also memory testing for me so when you start that book i mean the first thing that's been coming is uh i mean the fluid things are there but fluid thing we already also discussed so one is the fluid thing also a person is in road traffic accident from the trauma side how it's called trials as well like how to remove that patients so ABC and ABC D E F G like you know those are important uh, previously there was used to be a question comes that's barn and nowadays we don't see that one but we do need to understand I mean the management which is related to fluid so fluid management again is more important when we are talking about fluid I mean automatically some of the shock things are coming so four types of shock I told you to study last day we might be even revising that one so four different type of shocks hemorrhagic cardiac neogenic septic you need to read well the clinical feature and the management all right so these are the certain points for the um, the shock thing second uh, it might be coming it's uh, that one is uh, uh, fluid calculation i think i told you guys and apart from that one thing will come oh some heart related uh, emergencies i mean it's very popular one is pericardial tamponade and the pneumothorax how to differentiate and the frial chest of course i mean the chest so these are the extra three things that comes so often in the exam again in the rotary accident side if you think uh, splenic injury is so quite common so again you need to study splenic injury there uh, grading staging also according to grading staging management like compare contrast i mean the croup thing the croup again the grading uh, that was important and the management comes according to the grading all right so you can check that one that's also given the book but i'll give you more slides and things on that one that would be useful for you and some of the chest uh, related injuries i mean penetrating chest injury knife injury so you know how to manage this case is blunt injury so one is the blunt injury one is the knife related injury these are you know some cases more important you can read them apart from that you know certain thing you will find uh, last day we talk about i mean uh, uh, okay like next is a head injury okay in head injury extradural and subdural hematoma these are the two important thing in terms of this uh, emergency management thing and apart from that one i mean there will be something the in the heart again the palpitation vt svt atrial fibrillation these are important and how to um, manage the shock i mean when to give the disease shock then third thing will come you know if patient is pulseless how to manage that case i mean how we give cpr but you know there's procedure so you also need to learn that thing uh, in the chest and you know, i already told penetrating chest injury knife injury how to remove a knife i'll tell you about the management in the operation theater basically you have to remove the knife under ga that's the answer we need to learn uh, and a uh, few things will be coming uh, apart from that um, oh and in from John Murtag you can also check there's a chapter John Murtag and in John Murtag find out the snake bite you know there's some management given I mean emergency management pneumothorax management pericardial temporary management MI management or lot of managements are given in the one of the similar pages and also find out the snake bite so how to manage a snake bite case and also certain poisonings i mean we'll learn certain poisoning like opc poisoning late poisoning all right so we will learn carbamazepine poisoning uh, so this sort of poisoning uh, some people do sniffing there was a long aboriginal question sniffing 
was important so these are certain thing also how to transfer the patient like you know a head injury patient how to transfer when to transfer mi also included here but we might not discuss the mi here because mi has been taught all right uh, so mi but pericardial tamponade definitely we're going to discuss and also how to send the patient i mean air ambulance and what type of uh, ambulance that is being used by land by air this is also important to learn because here a lot of air ambulance services are available and oh, okay one more thing you will find in that snake bite in that is the uh, uh, opioid overdose i repeat that's opioid overdose what to give naloxone or naltrexone we give hypoglycemia management there is a chart you will find near to that opioid overdose okay so that one you can probably check um another one was head in head injury i told head injury management when to do ct uh, when to take the patient for icu so this sort of thing hypoglycemia management so this is another important thing so i hope so this will be useful for all of you and yes even in asthma that can be an emergency stratus epilepticus to understand uh, stratus asthmaticus to understand all right so these are the certain things it's not will be too intense class like the last one but it's more worth it i mean lot of question to come from this section all right so we, i will help you guiding you in coming sunday best of luck see you guys i mean another day and uh, this is dr your mentor dr sharier and uh, if there is anything to ask you can ask in the comment section best of luck have a great day all right